It is Sunday, August 13th, 2023. I'm here in Pomona at the Fairplex for the Pomona Auto Swap Meet that I film uh, seven times a year. This is actually my two year Pomona anniversary where uh, I've been shooting this ever since it came back in 2021 and I've uh, made every single one and uh, posted them here for you guys to enjoy. Uh, there's always a lot of great cars here on display and a lot of them are for sale, everything from uh, project cars to uh, fully restored examples. Uh, so, and everybody seems to like these videos. Without further ado, let's go have a look and see what's here. All right, so the cars are definitely still rolling in. It's still early in the morning. I usually start right about the time the uh, sun comes up. I'm expecting a large turnout. I think it's supposed to be like mid 80s today. So, uh, I'm, I think there's gonna be a lot of people. We'll check out this Pontiac convertible that's uh, for sale. Well, it's a Bonneville. And according to the grill, it's got a 428. Definitely a project car. I always start with the first line because uh, they are generally the people that get here the night before, so usually they're the ones that are most serious about actually selling their vehicles. And I usually walk the whole first line, then I zigzag through the rest. $3,600. Not sure if the phone number is going to come out on that one. But you get a good idea. And here's a uh, Volkswagen Squareback, even though we're not in the Volkswagen section. I usually do the Volkswagen section at the end of the video on the way out. 71 square back for 2800 I'm not sure if you can see that. Definitely a project car. I right, this, this one's a lot easier to see. It's been parked since 1994 according to the license plate. But it is on non-op, so it's pretty easy to get registered in California. Uh, little hole there in the fender. We got this uh, 69 Impala convertible for 35,000, 327 powered. Uh, this one's not oh this one is actually for sale i always say check the date of the video before you call these numbers because i do post the uh, date in the title in the thumbnail oh there's no info on this one um in the 63 the uh check check the date of the video uh before you start dialing those digits to make sure it's not like an old video it is in the uh description and in the uh, thumbnail and in the uh, title of the video I think we're going to have perfect uh, weather for today's event. The 87 square body for 50000 Pause the video and read all that. I'm not going to try to get in there because it's parked kind of close to this trailer. There's a uh, step side short bed. It's a 67 Pontiac GTO convertible. One is uh, thirty-five thousand. Actually, it's a real GTO might be a decent price. Obviously, you want to call, get more details on the cars. Maybe even go check them out before you do any purchasing, or have someone look at it if you don't know what you're looking at. Those are always good ideas. This one has been sitting for quite some time. I, I can't even read the uh, last tag on it. It's been sitting so long. Uh, Toyota Supra for the Radwood crowd. 13,500. Is a 5-speed. He does have the original window sticker. Let's see how much was this car new? I 21,827 or something like that. Back in 87. That's a pretty expensive car back then. Can't really get a shot. The interior's got slightly tinted windows. Before El Camino, that's been in the same family for many years. I'm not going to try to get back there. 
get a blacked out 60s Continental. Coyote swap. I will announce I was at the uh, Big Bear show yesterday, so that video will post on Tuesday. This one? Yeah. No, the other one is by Ford. Oh, okay, okay. Different project. Okay. Yeah, this 83 Wagoneer, Jeep from the AMC era, 16,000, hopefully you can read that. As I did the Big Bear show yesterday, I found out when you film a show and you're in high altitude, you definitely have to take extra breaks. I'll just leave it at that. And I thought that was going to be an easy one for me to go up there and shoot. And it wound up being a massive show. And, I, and the video came out in an hour and 38 minutes, so keep an eye out for that one on uh, Tuesday. So it's 52 Chevy Coupe that's for sale. Also, check the uh, tentative list. It'll be in the uh, video uh, comments pinned to the top shortly after I post the video. I can't put it up there until after it actually goes live. Tell you what shows I'm planning on hitting. Obviously, things change. Like the show yesterday wasn't even on the list. Just kind of decided to go film it. So sometimes there'll be stuff added. Sometimes there'll be stuff subtracted. And uh, but for the most part, that's what I'm planning on hitting. Continental. Continental convertible that is for sale. I'm not sure if I can read the number through the uh, windshield there. I always say if you can't read the number, it's usually for sale somewhere else. So if you don't, if you can't read the number on the car here, it's usually posted for sale somewhere else a lot of times. The 63 Continental that's for sale. the uh, top mechanism. Of course, it's a lot of switches and solenoids and hydraulics and all sorts of things. But the 67 Continental for 69,000. Now, what I can actually read. So next week, I believe I'm off to Tascadero for the Friday night cruise up there, and then the next day I'm going to go up for Monterey Car Week. At Concourse to Lemons, which is an interesting show if you've never uh, seen it or heard about it. Yeah, I'm going to ask around see if there's anything else that uh, up there maybe I could hit. Another beautiful Continental that's for sale. This one's 70000 And for those that don't know, these are very expensive to restore. <laughs> Parts are expensive, and of course, leather interior and everything else. Mustang, sixty-four and a half for sixty-five thousand. He's had the uh, 260 V8 Windsor, which is a early car. So we'll walk through until we find something that's for sale. Got this uh, Humvee. This is a civilian model, 2002. 159,000 brings this one home. So this is, I believe, one of the ones that was built as a civilian bottle, not not one of the ones that somebody converted uh, from a military use. Yeah, this uh, 50 Chevy 
13,500. What, uh, what kind of engine you got in it? Ford Fairmont station wagon. Or 7,200, it's got a 302 in it. You know, the wagons are very popular now. Yeah, this 65 Chevy van, window style. 8,000. 500 does run and drive. There's all your info. Let's see if I can get you some interior shots. I believe this was here last time. I mean, no, I could be wrong. Actually, I'm not sure. So I usually mention if it's uh, if we've seen it before at a swap meet or not. Generally, a uh, 69 Galaxy Convertible XL, 2500. I'm oh, sorry, it's not an XL, it's got the bench. I just assume because it was a convertible. Oh, it says XL on the trunk, so, okay. All right, we'll just call it an XL then. It does need a little work. Oh, Lincoln Mark V, it's seen better days. But, uh, no price on this one. I will say you can still find these in really nice condition for probably less than it would cost to redo one. There's a, a Marine Corps Humvee for $19,999. I believe they've actually made these like next to impossible to register in California now. So if you're looking to buy one of these, I would like definitely go on some forums and ask around, but I have heard. I know some states will register these, but I know California, this one's registered in Montana. So I imagine if you did buy one of these, you could not register it here. They do sell these, I think like Gov Planet or one of those, they, you can buy, actually buy these at auction. Chevy Cheyenne C20, 5,000. That's all your info. That's seen better days. Looks like, uh, I don't think it's eaten through. I think it just has uh, surface rust. This is a camper model. Usually the camper models are in a little bit better shape because a lot of times they had a camper for many years. Needs a little uh, tailgate help. Dart Swinger. And it's kind of built up. This one's a 74 pre smog for 18000 I think that might be a little bit of a Pomona price if you ask me. He's having it uh, increased in value like some of the other Mopars of the early 70s. A little Datsun Roadster. You used to see these a lot, and I don't, you don't see these anymore. One could be used for twelve thousand. Now, years ago, I had a neighbor that had one in his garage, and he would not let it go. I was this is back when you could still pick them up for hardly anything, and I don't know whatever happened to that. Car. It was fifty-eight and pile on a trailer. No info, and then it's a fifty-eight Chevy. So it's like he's got his own little trip hazard getting ready to go there. 
I'll just shoot here. I'm not going to try to walk over that. I'm going to get this 1960 Lincoln. This one's the Mark V. Rebuilt transmission, 8,500. All the infill on that one. These have that big MEL motor. So if it's running and driving and things are done on it, that's that's a huge step on one of these. The uh, breeze away rear window. There we got a uh, 39 Chevy. This one could be yours for 30,000. I believe this is the same guy with the uh, Apollo with the trip hazard next door. If you can get the interior there, it's like the steering wheel is missing. It's a 58 Willis Jeepster. Runs, moves, no brakes. 7,900. No word on if it's uh, been updated to a more modern power plant or not. Oh, he's got converted to Chevy. Years later, so it was last tagged in 2011. So it's not like it's been off the road that long. I always love these videos. We're gonna get this car running. It's been off the road since 2008. It's like, well, it's, those are usually pretty easy to get running. It hasn't been that long. Little Chevy Malibu station wagon come here for $59.95. Info 134,000 miles. Look at the interior. If you don't see the wagons of this era very often, as your typical uh, plastic parts from that era. If they're starting to reproduce that stuff on these. I know like for the they're making parts for the Malibus and the El Caminos from this era. You got a 59 El Camino with pink slip. Comes with all the trim and everything else. 19,000 500. Yeah. This one has the straight six. Yeah, I'll see if I can get around the other side. This guy's got his trailers a little close together. Yeah, we'll bring around this side. Oh, in two weeks we have uh, Lacey Park, uh, San Marino Concourse. I believe the day before that I'm doing the Santa Monica police show at the pier. I don't think I'm going to make it up to Pleasanton this time. Got this uh, 58 Chevy pickup. 7,500 on this one. Looks like a short bed. Yep, it's a short bed. I can get you up in the cab there. Just need a little help. I had a long bed like this years ago. This guy decided to leave already. Square body. No price on it, there's your other info. Got a uh, four speed, I'm guessing, with like a granny gear. That's Chrysler 300, 1970. So here for 7,500. I can't quite read it, it's got mist on the uh, windshield there. White, white, white interior with a white vinyl top. It's like it needs to be redone. It might have some crunchiness under there as well. Eddie. 
has a little uh, 70 C10 long bed. But it's a 253 on the tree. Pretty basic. Uh, Jeepster earlier is one that's uh, done or mostly done. Well, the info this one does have a 350, 13,500. Honestly, you couldn't get that other one to this level for the difference in price. Might want to pick up a different set of wheels for it though. <laughs> that's my opinion. There's the info, there's the This one actually is currently, uh, oh, yep, currently registered. Not sure, let me see if I get a shot of the interior. And on trucks. This uh, 54 Ford had seen better days. Got a little chunk missing there out of the fender. It is a two door post. Not sure what he's asking. 37.50. I think you could find, probably find a little bit better one for that price, in my opinion. Last tagged and uh, oh, they scraped the stickers off. It has a 65 sticker with someone scraped off stickers that were past that. So who knows when it was last tagged? You can tell it's got a month sticker because the 65 they weren't using month stickers. The 71 C20. Steak bed, 9,900. That one might be a bit of a Pomona price as well. Usually, if there's something that I think is a crazy good deal, well, I don't use those tires. That's scary. Um, usually, I'll if I see something that's like an, a really good price, I'll say it. And on those vehicles, I'd, I usually say it's probably going to be. Figure it'll be sold probably in the first week. But for pretty much everything else, I'd say a month. Or after a month, it's, it's probably sold. Or we'll see it back at another swap meter here at Long Beach. Here's a 61 Bel Air. So they cut the roof off. It's not a convertible. 11,005. So it's a two door Bel Air that somebody chopped the roof off. So, yeah, that's a bit of a Pomona price. It was a real Impala convertible, obviously I'd be like, buy it, <laughs> but it's not. Another 60s Chevy van, this one's a 68 G10. Until her six cylinder with automatic. It does have a cracked windshield. I'm not sure of the availability on windshields on these, so. I usually say if, if you're ever looking at an old vehicle and it's got a cracked windshield, check to make sure they're actually available because a lot of cars they are, but a lot of cars they aren't. I.e. AMC Pacer has uh, a red square body short bed. No info, just the phone number on this one. Right, so when I bought my Pacer, actually I found a website that said windshields were available and then when I bought the car I realized they were not. I wound up having to buy a parts car just to get a windshield. Hi. 
this OBS Chevy for $14,000. Is the uh, short bed variety? I think I already said that though. Did I? <laughs> I'll just leave this in. A Model A pickup truck. First sale. The sign's on the other side, so we'll get around to it. the info you can actually pause that and probably read the whole thing the 63 mercury looks like it's got a v8 so i'm guessing a 260 this one's only 1500 bucks so i don't know as long as it's not rusty underneath it, it'll probably sell this is the s33 it does miss in the rear glass which may or may not be hard to find this one was last tagged in 1998, black plate car. Yeah, this one will most likely, I would say, sell quickly. So, just because it's, it's an expensive classic and you could probably find the pieces it needs. It might take some time though. Yeah, this American Austin, I believe this was here last month as well. It could be yours for 8500 for the amount of work done on it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guarantee you couldn't build this for that. About a Studebaker Avanti. Not the uh, supercharged variety, it's the standard variety. 47500 This one's an automatic. The manuals are more desirable. Yeah, my buddy Chuck out in Palm Springs is like an expert on these cars, so he's kind of filled me in a lot of the details. Shelby. Got a 72 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, 17,000. This uh, 55 Ford pickup truck that needs a little bit of help. 6,500. Says it's got no Bondo. I'm sure you could pause that and read the rest. Uh, I don't know. That looks <laughs> okay. We'll just leave it at that. It does need some body work. We'll just leave it at that. And it has been painted. Looks like there's some primer over the original paint. It's kind of looks like what's going on there. Got a 69 Chevy pickup, so it looks like a three quarter. That was a seat ton, so it's a half ton. 15,000. Yeah, there was a guy, that Mercury earlier, that uh, for 1500, there was a guy looking at it, it was very serious, so it might actually, it'll, I think it'll sell today, but. Uh, 72 GMC. This one is a three quarter ton 2500 series. Long bed. There you go. You could read all that, pause it, and let me say pause the video. And has a long for sale sign. Sixty-three Impala. Frame off restoration for sixty thousand. You bring it around the back. Over with a uh, blown big block. Uh, 
new price on this is 950 plus horsepower, and I believe it. Come around here. Looks like it's got Texas plates on it. It doesn't have a price on the back either. Guess I'd keep shooting. We'll bring in this uh, 68 Camaro. It says 67, but it's got uh, 68 doors without the wing windows. For 50,000. Some people put the 68 doors with the on them to clean up the look. Which makes it a little more confusing when you're trying to figure out the year. Like yesterday at the show there was a 68 Chevelle that someone put 69 doors on. It was like a full custom. This is more of the info on this one. There's a 68 Firebird. Those, uh, those have a lot of surface rust. Looks like the lower parts of the fenders are okay. This one's 8,500. A little bit of a project. Rockers look good. I, obviously, I can't get under the car. Oh, it does have a little bit of separation there. Like some walk, too much water dripped over there. Yeah, looks like there is some primer, may have been some primer work done around the uh, rear window there. And it's originally out of Oregon. So it might have been an, a, a Beach City car. It's got a little crustiness in the quarter there. Of course, the quarters are available for these. So it's 56 Merc. 7,500. He knocked the price down. I remember I think he, had, he did have this here before a few times, I believe. So he finally knocked the price down. This is the, it's not original paint, it's very old paint. Do a full walk around on it. Couple bubbles starting up there in the door, so down, down in the corner. Got another 59 El Camino project. It has a small block in it. 34,000. That's a 350 350 engine. It has all the moldings and the windows. You've got a I remember passing on one of these years ago, I think for like 1500 bucks. <laughs> this is a long time ago, mind you. It was a serious project. And a couple Tri Fives that are not for sale, so. So when I shoot Pomona, I usually try to concentrate on the vehicles that are actually for sale, such as this one. for 10,500 in order if it comes with the club <laughs> a little bit of crunchiness there in the fender in the uh, quarter I should say There's a uh, 55 Ford four-door sedan, 
No, it's a, a Rambler Ambassador. 5,500. Looks to be original. I think that's been repainted at some point. Let me get you the info there. Of course, these were the top of the line for American Motors. Got a 59 Chevy Apache fleet side short bed. Low mileage. Uh, 50,000, I think, is what he's asking on this one. If I can make it out. Looks like it came out of Texas. Actually, 50,000 might be the mileage. I don't think he has a price on the uh, for sale sign there. Hey, my brother yeah. And the wood bed's been painted over, painted over. You can get those wood kits, and it does have a farm bumper on the back. <laughs> I see, you might be able to get a better look at this sign. It's a 50 Chevy two door hardtop. 29,000. Give you a look at this uh, 58 Impala. This one is 98,500. Look at the sign there. Seven Pontiac two door thirteen thousand. It's like the bumpers in the car. It's to be like an original, like barn find type vehicle. It's to be a stock one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can compete it for 25 bucks to get one to have fun with that. 1948 Buick. It says it runs and drives. Oh, good, there's a sign on this side, so I don't have to like reach across the windshield. I think that says 29,500, I believe is what that says. Sometimes it's hard to make it out. And you got the Chevy for sale for 26,000. Still coming in, and the crowds are definitely showing up. It's great weather today. Got 
little bit of a rat rod for sale. So it could be yours for 13,000 or best. Seven Ford twenty-eight thousand. Oh, and that's also uh, the, the app I use for making my thumbnails. Updated and got rid of the font I usually use for the text on my thumbnails. So that's that's actually so you might notice different fonts on my thumbnails from here on out because they I, I went through the whole app uh, I could not find that font anywhere that I was using. So be wary of that. It's 35 Ford pickup with a dump bed. 28,000. So it's got a uh, everyone's favorite uh, head gasket filling machine, the North Star V8. You see a Cadillac advertised with a North Star V8, it always says, it overheated. I don't know what happened. So that blue head gasket. Hopefully the update's been done on the bolts. I would definitely check that if you're looking at buying this one. So I guess once the update's done with the with the new studs, it actually makes it pretty reliable. <laughs> This Model A. <laughs> you wouldn't be going that fast with the block. Right? Last tag to 98. <laughs> so it could be yours for 14,600. Says it's ready to roll, so maybe he's already gone through it to put it back on the road. There's no price on it though. This one's actually for Sal. So if your name's Sal, this is your car. It was like a depot hack. 8,000. These were like the original station wagons when people would build the bodies themselves. They used them for bringing passengers from the railway stations to the hotels. This electric shopper. We saw this at the last couple weeks. Was it Long Beach? 15,500. Started out as one of those electric shoppers. This one's 12,000. You know, the 66 C30 with a uh, utility bed. 28,000. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can read the sign. The 55 Tudor wagon with a uh, LS out of a GTO. I think those late model GTOs are going to be hard to find in the future as uh, most of those have given up their LS's for other cars. <laughs> That's how we see them advertised but without the engine.
about some horsepower. Couple of vintage Corvettes. That's the one that I actually have. is this for one? sale. Do I have a 70? 70 LT1? No, 70 so LT1. A 71 <laughs> LT1. I can get the sign on the other side. It's got the uh, NCRS certificate. A little bit of bubbling there on the paint. It might be original paint, I don't know. realized I forgot to announce at the beginning of the video the next Pomona is October 15th it is on the uh, tentative list so that is the next Pomona swap here's a 70 convertible matching number 35,000 there's an automatic transmission equipped the 1980 Corvette getting into the disco era Lots of vacuum hoses for smog. Looks like it passed smog, so uh, he has the certificate, which is always good. I think last time I bought an old car that needed a smog, the guy actually had it smogged. I about fell over because that never happens. I'll bring the info on this one for 15000 Get you the uh, sign there. 64 Stingray for sale. It's got uh, Keystone mags on it. This is best offer. This one's not for sale. He just has some flyers on his windshield. Let's check out the show I shot uh, was it last week in San Diego at the uh, that one that one was actually put on by the Corvette Club. There was like a ton of Corvettes. In fact, a lot of the comments were, "Man, I've never seen so many vintage Corvettes." But there's a lot of other kind of other cars as well. Sorry, that was two weeks ago. It was the Main Street America show. You know, people. I just double checked on my phone. It wasn't last. I was like, was that two weeks ago? Yeah, it was two weeks ago. I lose I lose track of time sometimes. A lot of amazing cars at that show, including a lot of early Corvettes. Ever watch this video? Yeah, this 67 big block 427 car. Not for sale, but we'll just have a look at it. We're just going to walk through till we find some vehicles that are for sale. Very nice uh, 64 Galaxy there. I got this uh, 64 Riviera, still nailhead powered. This uh, K5 looks like it's got a for sale sign on it. So it's 30,000. I don't think there's a phone number, so I'm not gonna get too in depth with it. Like I said usually if there's no phone number and if they are serious about selling, they've got it posted elsewhere. It's an interesting Cadillac. Another big block Chevy engine.
Boba. Oh, we got our first car alarm in the morning. It's usually a Long Beach thing. More of the cars that aren't for sale. I did announce before I'm not doing the LA Auto Show this year. I took it off the list. It's generally my channel is vintage cars. It's for sale for sixty thousand. Uh, so I decided, you know, it really clashes with the rest of my videos. And besides, I've got tickets for Devo that night, so I got to go see Devo. That would make for a really long day. The Chevy cab over. This guy was actually rolling into Bob's Friday night while I was rolling out over in Burbank. It's a 55 Ford Crown Victoria. 36,500, there's the info on that car. It's 56, uh, sorry, it's a 55 Ford wagon. It's got a uh, 56 uh, front signals. So, there's the info. This one could be used for 30,000. Got a, a custom dash there with like a screen. A uh, 39 Buick, just his best offer on this one. Here's that one. So it's got a modernized steering column on it. And it's got like an 80s uh, Buick badge. That's me calling you. I just want to It's 53 Chevy. Not for sale, but... So all these cars just have uh, car show flyers on them, so... I'm not skipping ones that are for sale. It's just some guy put car show flyers on a lot of the windshields. Yeah, this uh, 49 Ford convertible that is for sale. That is 24,000. There's the info. Still flathead powered. Uh, 40 two door sedan. Very cheap. I've seen this one. We've seen this one before. Various. Honestly, you I always say it. You could not build one of these for this price, but it's sort of like a uh, 90s Corvette motor. Which probably tells you about the era it was built. So a Roadster pickup. That's for sale. No price on it or anything. It's got a bicycle with a sidecar in the back. A little Model T racer. Cab over. We've seen this one before. This was at Grand National Roadster Show and I believe Rat City Ruckus, one of the ones I shot. And uh, I believe this will be actually, I saw this at SEMA as well, maybe a couple years ago. It's got a 12 valve Cummins diesel. I think that's like the top motor they use at Welder Up. So. A bit of a walk around. There's a 56. This guy's a regular here and at Long Beach with this uh, 56. Yeah, at least before the end of the day. Here's the Chevy that's for sale. These guys are having a look, so I'll just that's still come around. There. So, yeah. oh, there actually is a filled out sign on the other side, so we'll come around.
Could use a wood kit if you're planning to haul things. Oh really? So I just cleared over it. Mine was, mine was if you see it's a 59 flat top at Long Beach a lot too. There's a 64 El Camino that's for sale, 18,500. It's gonna get a wide shot there. Not having to come around it. Actually, I can get you around the tailgate there. Watch out for the chair farm. This thing is a pink street rod, ready to make your 90s car magazine dreams come true. 46,837, the very specific price on this one. All the info on that. All these 90s built cars have been coming out of the woodwork lately. It's got the billet wheels, all the stuff that you used to see in the car magazines. Nice Chevy pickup. And we'll do this one walk around style that we find some vehicles that are actually for sale. How about a 59 Edsel? It's a 60 Bel Air that's for sale for 16,500. And show you that one. Big block powered 58. Here's a Chevy pickup that is for sale. A 57 with a 350 in it. 15,990. Uh, 57 Bel Air to a hard top. Here's for 38,000. Your two lane blacktop or American graffiti dreams come true with this 55 gasser for 40,000. Hey, thanks for what you did, buddy. All right, thanks. I thought that was a for sale sign. <laughs> so, yeah, look at this Pontiac. It's the love machine. It's a 53 Chev. 18,000. Uh, let me see if I can get you the shot of the sign there.
has our Wills Jeepster. Oh, it's for sale. 29,000. Pause it and blow it up. Oh, we've seen this one before. This one with the uh, Buick coat ornament on it. This was at Long Beach last week. If I'm not mistaken. It's for sale. Is the info on that one. Six convertible. There's a car for sale behind it, so let's go check that one out. This panel for fifty thousand. This one is clean. These are hard to find in any condition, let alone this condition. Look at this little black paint. It's very, very straight. I'll show you this uh, Roadster that's for sale. 34,000. There's the info. Like that sort of thing? Check out the uh, LA Roadster show video on my channel. It's a gorgeous Oldsmobile. Not for sale, but definitely something worth checking out. Well, if you own this car, you wouldn't want to sell it either. <laughs> now I'm bringing to show you this uh, one that is for sale. It's 50 Chevy panel. 15,800. So it's the uh, 250 inch six. Couple carb manifold on that one. This guy was at the Silver Surfer. Stenciled onto the doors. And go back there, they got a chair farm going. 54 Chev for 22,500. The guy on that scooter there, that was Matt, who actually runs this whole thing. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever talked to him. He thanked me for shooting these videos. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, I've never really thought to uh, talk to anybody uh, uh, from Pomona, the actual swap meet. But I said he's really happy. He knows that they get a lot of good promotions out of these videos. The Long Beach Swap Meet actually follows me on Instagram, so I know they're happy with what I do, and I have talked to somebody from there before. Here we got another Chevy that is for sale. This one's a 51 four-door, 15,000, with a visor. Got a uh, 60 Eldorado Tour hardtop for sale. This was also at Long Beach last week, if I remember right. I have a pretty good memory. If not, we saw it somewhere else. Fairly certain it was. No, this was Long Beach. It's a nice truck, not for sale, but uh, get a good look of it anyway. The 53 Chevy 210 four door sedan, 1500. Chevy 
Chevy two door hardtop is for sale. They're 21,000. Yeah, it's a 1950 Chevy Fleetline for sale for 20,000. Hey, another one that's for sale. There's a 51 two door sedan. 20,000 says cash talk, so he's willing to negotiate. So, Painter, I think it's very old paint. Thirty-seven thousand five hundred. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't scream original paint to me. So you got the curb feeler there. And I'll show you some more of it. Another 56 that is not for sale. A 55 old Holiday 88 four door hard top. 22,000. Tell you what, I think this is amazing weather today. Nice cool breeze, and this is August. <laughs> so, in June we had perfect weather. If I was talking to the uh, guy who runs Pomona here, um, I, they said they had to tell people to leave at the end of the day so they could pack up because people were sticking around because the weather was so nice. So it's just nice to have two really great weather Pomona swap meets in a row. Beautiful 58. <laughs> Come here for 180,000. There you go. I always like the black on the red. That's just a nice color scheme on these. It's got the cruiser skirts, twin antennas, and Connell kit. find some more we actually got another one coming up here that's for sale looks like I kind of figured with the nice forecast that this would definitely be a draw today it's a 48 fleet masters got all the chrome for it really can fill on that one all right so the weekend after uh, the next Pomona swap meet, they actually have the In-N-Out car show and drag race out here for their 75th anniversary here at the Fairplex and of course the drag stretch right back there. And they actually came for the 70th anniversary, 385,000 bring to this 59 Impala. Break out your checkbooks. So... So in October we'll actually have two large events here at uh, Fairplex in the parking lot. Uh, I don't know if they still have tickets. I think they were selling out for the nighttime show. I did not get tickets for that. I did enter my van in the car show, my 83 Dodge. But uh, the nighttime the nighttime car the nighttime event is it, I think the headliner is ZZ Top. So that's actually probably be a great event. Oh, this 57 is for sale, I didn't even notice. 88,000 for this 57 convertible. Uh, no phone number, so doesn't really do anything any good. Very nice 57. And we got a 56. I believe this car was here last time too, in June. For 70,000. Appears to be like an older restoration. 
I think this is the one that was here. Right here. This is the top. It's 39 Chevy. someone asked me why I don't film the parts there's literally no time to do both so and there's a guy John is rusty who is a parts vendor he'll often cover it on the parts end when he's here it's like 59 Buick I'm not sure what this is this is, is a Kissel it says Kissel I've never heard of a Kissel I've heard of a lot of things but I've never heard of one of these so we'll bring it to you. That's literally what it says on the uh, wheel there. 1930 Kissel. I'll bring it the back of that Buick. Here we got a 39 Chevy that's for sale. This one is uh, 28,000. All your info on that guy. This one is for sale as well. This one says, I believe this was here last time. It says 4,400 original miles on this one. No price on it. Look, it's always on, on YouTube. There's a Buick that's for sale. I guess I was guy rolling through earlier. Couldn't quite get over to get a shot at rolling fast. 33,000 miles on this one, 16,500. It's got that big uh, hood that swings off to the side, so I could bring you in and show, get you a shot of that big eight. Let's go have a look. And there it is. So always we get a lot of the lowrider clubs locally that come out here to hang out with their families and check out all the other cars. This uh, patina uh, Chevy pickup. Yeah, we, uh, Buick Nailhead powered uh, Model A. Not sure everything's scratched out there, so I think it's for sale. <laughs> Roadster here. Give you a look at this one. And the 1957 Pontiac. The 58 Apache Longbed for sale. 
This one is uh, 17,000. Actually, uh, he's got the phone number kind of in a weird spot. Right where the glass was laminating. There's another sign here there. You can read that one a little bit better. It's had some uh, frame modifications for lowering. Mustang 2 plus 2 GT 1966 one could be used for 60,000 Got the pony interior Got a 70 El Camino 28,000 it's a super sport. So you can check to see if they're real super sports or not. This one looks to be very clean. So I'll bring it over and check, give you a better shot of this side of the car. Car, truck, whatever. That uh, mini Pinto that actually shows up at a lot of local shows. Pinto. Uh, El Camino project is to be a 71. If you're sure, I think it says 6,000. Right here, for sale sign and duct tape. This uh, Plymouth Duster. 440. Good beers for 42,000. Well, 40 of the five speed. It's got a lot of info on there. It's like he's out of Las Vegas area with a 702 number. Right, the whole car. It's like he could use a new back panel there. He's got cheap metal screws holding that in. Oh, that seems to be a pretty nice car. Can't get a good shot of the interior. The 68 Impala Project, uh, 25000 That might be a little bit of a uh, Pomona price, if you ask me. And I own a 69 to a hard top myself, so I can say that. This one looks like it's a 327 variety, small block. It does have buckets and console, so there's that. Yeah, definitely something that uh, needs work. That's 78 square body GMC, no price on it. There's your info. Uh, 76 Lincoln Mark IV, last year for the Mark IV before they went to the 5. I guess it's 8800. This one has the uh, ever popular for putting in an Impala. Just ask my friend Nick, uh, moonroof on it, sunroof. I guess whenever these pop up and pick apart that with the roof with the moonroof there, that's like the first thing that's gone. There's 
a uh, Chevy coupe that's for sale. It's got like a 90s Corvette motor. I'm not even sure. It looks like he's asking 25,900. Somebody was nice enough to put their flyer over his for sale sign. Clean 61. Couple nice 61s. Got an 84 Cadillac Eldorado uh, convertible, 5,000. I cannot see that phone number. I believe this one was for sale online, like recently, for a much lower price. So I think it's, it's probably a flip if it is the same car. Oh, there's the phone number. And these have that infamous uh, 4100 motor. Those who know, know. I've owned a couple 4100 cars myself. The V8 engine with four cylinder power. There's a, it's like a grandpa fresh, square body, three quarter ton, 11,000, it's an 83 Scottsdale edition. We got a chair farm, so I gotta be careful. Back up, back up. Monty SS that's for sale. This one's uh, 35,000. Not sure if you can make that out. It is a T top edition. And of course, it's an arrow for the NASCAR homologate 63 Impala Rider that is for sale for 65. Thousand. He's kind of parked weird up against another low rider. <laughs> this El Camino 86 for 13,500. Looks like he's got all the dealership paperwork point. It was purchased new. Like 70s graphics packages. We'll check out the 79 C10 square body. So I think there's no phone number info. There's the phone number info on that one. You got the info all over the car. There's a C20 with Utah plates that's for sale. It's got the six. Here's for 5,500. Well, it's got the uh, bowed out uh, bed there. Uh, probably a four speed with a granny. Most likely a farm truck. Needs a wood kit in the worst way. Uh, brake fluid hanging out in the back there, so that might give a little indication. Last tagged in 04. Guessing uh, she needs to be brought back to life. A little crispiness there down in the uh, lower fender. There's a square bar. I think we did see this one last week at Long Beach as well. 73 with a 454, 30,000 GMC variety. About three quarters of a 59 Impala. Looks like he's got most of the pieces there. So it's for 10,000, some assembly required. My parents put it together. Oh, there's somebody sleeping under the car, so I'm not gonna go back there. There are the Mopar fans. Got this Charger. Seen this one before it's like a Hertz edition 2006 Mustang GT not a Shelby and I think he has proof that it was actually I think it was for like zone managers for Hertz or something I think is when I read the plaque but it was a car I guess that was done up for Hertz but not a Shelby 65 El Camino she got a blower so it could be here for 50,000 
50,000, you'll get there in a hurry. They got this uh, 47 Chevy pickup for 50,000. I'm not sure if I can get in there, so I'll just bring it to you over here. And this Chevy's for sale, 41. Hey, what up, dude? This one is 18,500. Wait, hey, wait right there around 20, 21 for them. About a 62 Plymouth Fury. The Poly, it looks like a 318 Poly. Alright, this one is the Ford over variety. There's no price on this one. Many years ago, I had a Savoy Wagon 62, one of the most unusual years for Plymouth styling. You got a little Pontiac Ventura with a 6. It's a 74, so you don't have to smog it. It is a Ford door variety. This is their version of the Nova. Yeah, it's a 68 Mustang. Just kidding, it's a 72 LTD convertible. Is that a 78? Sure, info on that. Not a 68 Mustang. It's a three seater. There's a 63 Nova Super Sport with a V8 swapped in. I believe we've seen this one here before. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, four speed. Nice 71 El Camino that's for sale. LS swapped. I got a GoPro and all, you know how to work it. <laughs> 72 Monte Carlo with a 454. Don't see the big block ones too often. Can we come around and get the for sale sign here? <laughs> so people want to see at home. All right, here we go. All right, there's all your info. 35000 on that one. Got a Chevy with a utility bed for sale. You have a magnifying glass, you can read that. It's 24,000, I did see that. Oh, a 70 Buick Skylark GS, 22,900. Red with white interior and a white vinyl top. There's a 64 Carmen Ghia. This one does have a salvage title. It says they're 7,500. So a lot of people don't want to buy anything with a salvage. I generally don't myself, unless I'm going to part it out. A 73 Chevelle. You don't see this era of Chevelle that often. 12,500, so 350. Bench seat, auto on the column. The 69 El Camino, 21,500. <laughs> sure if you can see it on YouTube yet without without something happening <laughs> the name of the model I know like when that whole thing was going down you couldn't say it if there was this whole thing like don't say that word so 
Not sure if that's still a thing. I think they changed that. The one with the unfortunately named car and the unfortunately named town and beer. It's a 65 Malibu, 50,000. Yeah, there's like some words you're not supposed to say unless you want to get demonetized. There you go, we got a 68 Ford Thunderbird for 19,005. It's the uh, four door variety. With the Landau top. A 69 three door Suburban for 14,000. It's open to trades. This one is a, a four wheel drive. It's got the uh, horn hub on there. Got a 383 stroker motor. Four cars are growing four cars. The 63 Chevy Impala Tudor hardtop. Small block, 17,900. Your info, 626 area code, so San Gabriel Valley-ish. Could use a paint job. Maybe some chrome work. Got a, a 69 SSRS Camaro, 396, 375 horse. This one is uh, 59,000. And uh, pause it, maybe you can read the whole thing. It's got a four speed. Yeah, I got a 70 Nova. Looks like it's a 250 six cylinder variety with an automatic. 11,000. There's a two door with a vinyl top. Got this uh, Nash Metropolitan, 12,500. The nice hound tooth interior. Got a uh, 70 Impala convertible for, I think it says, I can't read it from here, uh, 15,000. It's written in a uh, pen that's running out of ink, which is usually not the best way to write out your for sale signs. It's like it's been sitting a couple of years and they, they pulled it out of somewhere. But it is a real convertible. It still has the bows, needs, of course, the top material. Last tag, and your guess is as good as mine. It does need a little bit of quarter panel repair. You got a uh, 71 El Camino. This one is 19,850. There's the numbers. We're far away enough from the music I can get away with doing a walk around. If not, I'll be editing for the rest of the day. Editing and re-uploading. We got a, a 51 Chevy pickup truck for sale. So it could be yours for 17,000. As it runs good, I'm guessing you drove it here. So give you a good look at this one. A 67. Mustang Fastback, a little extra weight reduction there, 25,000. It's a bit of a project. So I, I gotta put the motor back in it. So you look at that one. Neat body work paint. Right on. Looks like I had a little questionable body work over the years. Obviously being a Mustang, just about everything's available for these. You can buy a whole new body shell if you really wanted to. 
this uh, 56 Chevy is winking at you. Give yours for 23,000. Oh, there's a phone number that you can read better here. It says it's got a 350 on the other side. Take a good look here. A little bit of a project. Probably some body work required and things like that. But uh, 56 uh, two door hardtop. Can't get over there. Some park this. We got a 64 Impala. Small block. 19,000. Uh, it's on a bill of sale, so no title. On the side of the computer, you usually you can get a title for these. Looks like it's been sitting for several years. Yeah, it is. Got a 68 Cutlass convertible. Supreme. 32,000. There's the uh, info on that. A Ford Econoline pickup, 62, 7,900. It's got a little bit of crispiness showing through there on the uh, pillar. It's missing the tailgate, which they are very hard to find for. The tailgates on these were very prone to rust, so I will say I know they are kind of difficult to find. There's a 63 Chevy C20 pickup, 7,450. So it's got a small block, three speed transmission. Runs excellent. Pause it, read the novel, write a book report about it, buy the cliff notes. Whatever you got to do. It's got a farm bumper on the back as well. You know, we got a 51 Chevy. This guy's got a QR code, man. He's ready to go. 45,000. Go on your mobile device, scan the screen, and uh, have at it. There you go. Show this uh, slammed first gen Econo. Show this Ford convertible, Crestline 53. Looks like the uh, flathead has been replaced with a 302. 7,000. It's got a uh, modern column on it. Also, a very clean car. Bring it over here. Got a uh, Corvair with a uh, small block in the front where the trunk normally is. So it could be yours for 25,000. At least the phone number is legible. Got a gas tank where the engine normally is, and the battery. Hey, you're popular, man. I hear everybody saying it. How you doing? Doing good. I come around this side because there is a for sale sign on this uh, 72 Chevelle, 46,500. Does have a uh, big block 454. I think the music's further away now, so I can uh, get the rest of this in one shot. <laughs> People are actually starting to leave now, and it's actually not that hot, so. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, finish off this line of cars, go over and hit the Volkswagen section, and then, uh, so I always do the Volkswagens on the way out. So it just says trade on this uh, El Camino 70. Got a uh, 68 C10, could be yours for 95,000. It's got a LS in it. Short bed. Yeah, I wish I could get a little further away, but there's another truck literally right up on it. And someone always says, well, I can't, it, SEMA's the fun one, because it's literally a trade show where there's like just thousands upon thousands of people. How come you can't get a better shot? <laughs> I can't walk through people, that's why. This one's for sale, it's 50. And we got a uh, Barracuda project car. This one's 3,000. You too. A little bit of rust in the core there. At least it has that rear glass, because that's that's like a huge hurdle. A lot of times you see these without the rear glass where it's smashed. This 
64 Buick Riviera project car. It says uh, $8,000 brings this one home. Does need a bit of work. Looks like it just uh, came out of a field. It's got the uh, steering column delete. It's a very rare option. It's got the uh, taillight delete as well. Nice clean uh, C10 pickup, 1970 model for 25,000. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the Volkswagen section. And, uh, my feet are destroyed right about now. This one actually does have info on it. 10.5 on this uh, dune buggy. The 71 Carmen Ghia for 18,000. It's right there. And I switched to a new mic, so if it sounds weird, that's 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 because it's a new mic, I guess. A 72 Datsun Z car. Like a bit of a project, 6,900. Not an army jeep, I mean, that's in the uh, V-dub section. 20,000 on this one. It's a 65 Beetle sunroof car. That one's 15,000 or best. It's a 75 Super Beetle convertible. 7,500 miles, 14,000. A 57 oval on a 62 pan, it says, 14,000. A 74 Beetle. All right, it's going to wrap things up here at Pomona Swap Meet for the August 13th, 2023 Pomona Swap Meet. Uh, lots of great cars here. I My feet are tired. Don't forget I filmed a show yesterday, which is in Big Bear, and that video will be up on Tuesday. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite car was. Check the tentative list of events I'm planning on hitting, which will be in the video description shortly after the video posts. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.